Welcome to our 2014 World Cup corner. Four-time winners Italy followed in Spain's footsteps by failing to go beyond the group stages after losing to Uruguay and Natal. National team coach Cesare Prandelli, who took up the post in 2010 and led his country to the final of Euro 2012, has already submitted his resignation, with Italian FA president Giancarlo Abete also stepping down. Let's see together what's happened. Uruguay will join Costa Rica as the last 16 contenders from Group D after they narrowly beat Italy 1-0 thanks to a late goal from Diego Godin in Natal on Tuesday. Juventus midfielder Claudio Marquisio was controversially sent off for a clumsy challenge on Arevalo Rios, leaving La Squadra Azzurra to play most of the second half with 10 men. Elsewhere, England were held to a frustrating goalless draw by Costa Rica in Belo Horizonte, completing a miserable campaign for Roy Hodgson's men, who after two opening defeats were eliminated from the group stage for the first time since 1958. This result sees Costa Rica top their group with seven points, one ahead of second-placed Uruguay with England rock bottom. Greece needed a late penalty from Georgia Samaras to down the Ivory Coast 2-1 in Fortaleza. Andreas Samaras opened the scoring just before the break with Wilfred Bonny equalising in the 72nd minute. Didier Drogba's teammates then pushed, but it wasn't to be as Samaras was fouled in the box by Giovanni Sio in stoppage time and calmly slotted home. In Group C's of the game, Joseph Peckerman's men breezed through to the last 16 with an emphatic 4-1 victory over Japan in Cuyaba. Jackson Martinez scored a brace before James Rodriguez made sure of the win, scoring arguably the goal of the tournament so far. France is set to take on Ecuador on Wednesday in Group E's final block of matches. Both teams will be looking to avoid Argentina in the knockout stages, with Didier Deschamps' men holding the upper hand after winning their opening two matches. Elsewhere, Argentina and Nigeria are ready to settle Group F's top spots when the two sides meet on Wednesday in Porto Alegre. The French are almost guaranteed to top Group B as only a heavy defeat to Ecuador or a huge win for Switzerland could see them finish in second place. Le Bleu have been one of the teams to watch so far, boasting the best goal difference after winning their first two games in style. National team coach Didier Deschamps is expected to make changes to his starting lineup and save his key players for the next round. Meanwhile, Ecuador must better Switzerland's result against Honduras if they are to go through to the last 16 and are likely to stick with a similar 11 to the side that beat Luis Fernando Suarez's men in the second game. The last time these two sides met was in a friendly in Grenoble six years ago, with France winning through 2-0 thanks to a brace of goals from Lyon forward Bafetembi Gomez. Ahead of the third round of matches in Group E, France lead with six points, Ecuador currently lying in second place thanks to a better goal difference over Switzerland. Nigeria can reach the knockout phase if they avoid defeat against Argentina in Porto Alegre. Stefan Keshi's side have yet to concede a goal in the competition, and while they were left frustrated by Iran in their opening game, a 1-0 win over Bosnia was crucial to their hopes of qualifying. Victor Moses and Godfrey Oboabona have both suffered injuries and are unlikely to be considered for places in the starting lineup. After two hard-fought wins, Lionel Messi's teammates will be looking for a better team performance in order to give their fans something to cheer about. The Argentinians have no fresh injury concerns, but it is not yet clear if Gonzalo Higuain will start up front with Lionel Messi and Sergio Aguero, as team coach Alejandro Sabella may decide to rest a few of his key players for the next round. Here's now a quick glimpse at Group F before Wednesday's fixtures. Well, how are these matches going to finish? We're going to have a stab at guessing, even though we might be very wrong, of course. Why not join in and send us your own predictions on social networks using hashtag the corner scores? Well, we feel France will maintain their perfect record in this year's main event with an emphatic 3-1 win over Ecuador. We also believe the Swiss will prevail over Honduras, with Mark Wilmotsman winning by the same scoreline. While we predict Argentina will get the better of Nigeria and tip them for a 3-0 win.
Well, that's it for today's World Cup Corner. We'll be here every day for the month-long tournament in Brazil.